guys, welcome in to... <laughs> I'm not doing a generic YouTube intro. Uh, people have been requesting a Lucio skin tier list for a while. And I said, you know what? I don't want to do one. So we're doing one today, unfortunately. This is against my will. Okay. So the way this tier list is going to work is we're going to divide it into a couple categories. The skin itself, does the gun look good? And is it worth your money? 95% of the time, the answer is no, it's not worth your money at all. So... <laughs> There is two skins that are probably worth your money, and that's about it. Obviously, the default skins don't really matter, but uh, first off, that's right, guys. This skin right here. This is the default... The, wait. Yeah, the default Overwatch 2 look. It's brand new. It's probably one of the best-looking character updates in the entire game. I think it's the best-looking, like, rework character out of all characters that I've done so far, because this, I think this was one of the first changes they did. And then it seems like they got maybe a little bit, a little bit chill with like the rest of the characters, but they kind of just went out with Lucio. This guy isn't even the poster boy for the game. And yet they went so hard on him, you know? Tracer, she just got some new leggings. And uh, did she even get a haircut? I don't know. Look, it's a good redesign. It's probably the best redesigned Overwatch 2 character by far. Maybe I'm a little bit biased, but uh, we're going to put an S tier. Don't worry about the image, just not even showing his face. You know, don't worry, we're going to fix that. But... Before Overwatch 2, there was Overwatch 1. That's right, guys. Overwatch 1 Lucio. Before he was born, he was Overwatch 1. This is the OG. This look for Lucio was made all the way back in 2016. Probably even 2015, really, if you think about it. So, is it a good redesign? Is it a good default design? It looks good. It's Lucio. It's what created the character. There's a lot going on. I didn't even look at the gun for the Overwatch 2 thing. Sorry, we need to go back to that. <laughs> This is the gun. It looks nice. In game, it looks a little bit big, but I still think it's a nice redesign. Anyways, back to it. Uh, Overwatch 2 Lucio. You know, he's got skates on. He's got a big frog tattoo on, you know. Uh, in Overwatch 2, they cover up his frog tattoo, which, you know, kind of sucks. But I think it's cool he has a giant frog tattoo. This is very important because frog? Lucio. Lucio jumps on wall. He's like a frog. That's really interesting, you know. But it is a nostalgic skin. So I don't think it's S tier, but I think it's A tier. Alright, let's do the common skins. I mean, I, I don't really need to go into too much detail of this one. Like, I think all the common skins, not the common skins, like the, the rare skins, they're pr they're all pretty basic, right? You know, they're not, they're not, um, next level, anything like that, you know? You've got Vermelo, it's red, it looks nice, you know, he's got a little red gun, it's, it's cool. Well, it's like orange, actually. Uh, and then you have Roxo, which is pink. We love pink. Uh, this is the ugliest one ever. I'm so <laughs> and then Azul, which everyone calls the A-Train skin because he's wearing blue. And if you ever watched the boys before, uh, A-Train wears blue. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's, that's all right. Here's what my thing is, right? I think in first place is the pink Lucio. Second place is a train lucio third place is the vermelo skin and last place is whatever this skin is bro we're not even going to talk about it bro it's just Ugh. now onto the epic skins starting with auditeva i probably mispronounced that uh this skin is it's a skin um there's camouflage on the gun for some reason i don't really understand the weapon design on this one at all like the white is cool but why does it have camo on it <laughs> Like, why is it only at the top? Like, why is half his gun just missing? You know what I mean? <laughs> There's no gun there. Exactly. Half the gun is missing. So, it, it lets you see a lot more. So, it actually is, in my opinion, S. -tier. No, I think this skin is pretty... It's better than it's better than the commons. Like, no, I don't think it's better than the commons, actually. I think it's kind of just in the middle there. Maybe over here. Yeah. Synthetastasia. Uh, we have this weapon, which I think is kind of cool because back in the day, uh, people would use this skin because it would blend in the, with the environment a bit. Also, I think there's like a redesign on the, on the, uh, thing. Look. Yeah, there's like this. I don't know what the triangles are at all. There's just, there's triangles for some reason. <laughs> there's, there's triangles. Uh, but the gun itself, it's brown, you know, it's okay. It, it doesn't look that crazy. It's pretty basic. You know, they've got the Illuminati plastered all over. 
Boom, the Illuminati. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's kind of there. It's better than the other um, Lucio skin with the invisible gun. So it's it's not terrible. Gorgon Lucio. Oh, fellas, don't get me started. This skin right here is gorgeous. I'm surprised this skin didn't even make it into the um to the event. But hey, Gorgon looks sick. It looks dope. It looks wonderful. The whole skin itself looks really cool. And as well, I think as well, might be able to see it. Yeah, he's got a green mouth. He's got green teeth. If he does a little smile. Come on, smile for me, big boy. Wait. Yeah, he's got green teeth. You probably can't really see it that much, but it's actually really good. Like, it's actually crazy this is an epic skin. Uh, because the snakes move around in his head. The gun has scales on it, which actually looks super awesome. Like, it really actually gives into this full on like snake vibe it's got scales if we're an epic skin i think this is like an actual s tier skin because there is a lot of good detail in this skin for epic because it's like i'm saying this right what the f for an epic skin it looks really good you compare it to the other like you know skins for example like they're kind of basic like this has moving snakes on it bro that's sick that's so cool is it worth your money however <laughs> All right, uh, now we move on to the first Christmas skin that Lucio got. Wait, is it the first? Yeah, it is. Andes. Andes? Dees. <laughs> he's wearing, he's got his little Santa hat on. He looks nice and sweet, you know. He's out here to give some presents. Um, the gun's, the gun color is nice. It's a very old skin, like it's very outdated, you know. So it, it, it's not really that big. Me on my hot mouth. So I'm feeling romantical. I'm going to say B tier, okay? I'm gonna say B tier. Onto, onto. Corredor. Corridor. I mean, this got. <laughs> this skin is so weird. It's got flames on it, so I mean, he goes faster when you're wearing it. It's pretty cool. It's got flames on the gun. Look. The gun just looks sick. It looks like something I would make as a 10 year old, you know? You guys are saying Guy Fieri, what? It has flames on it. That that doesn't mean Guy Fieri. However, yes, when I did see the flames, the first thing I thought of was Guy Fieri. No, it actually is a pretty cool skin. This is this is a really unique one. I mean, there's there's like stuff coming out of the exhaust in the back. I think this skin would have been good if it made like actual engine sounds or something. It would have been really cool. If, if people are new here and don't know the lore, Guy Fieri actually plays a lot of Overwatch. Guy Fieri actually plays a lot of Overwatch in his spare time, and his favorite hero is Lucio. So there's some trivia for you guys. If you guys enjoyed that trivia, make sure you smash that like. <laughs> the gun, look, it's just the flames, man. Like, the flames literally sells his skin. His hair looks like Cheetos, you know, like just noodles. I'm gonna say A tier. I don't think it's the best A tier skin. There's heaps of skins that are better than it. What are you guys question marking me for? It's a good looking skin. Now, the real question is, is it worth your money? <laughs> Onto bitrate. Okay, the skin itself, it's cool, right? The like visor has actual music on it. But I'll tell you what sucks about this skin, right? The gun is such a letdown to me. Like there's just, like they could have easily done some like effect on the gun, but like they didn't. And that's what lets me down about it. Or they could have made like the music a little bit more like 8-bit with this one. It, it would have been so simple. Like this, this skin could have been legendary so easily, dude. Like, that's what makes me so upset about it. Oh, wait, the shirt. Oh, I didn't know that. The shirt looks sick. Hold on. That's actually pretty cool. That one's great. But yeah, I think this skin is good. I think what holds it back is simply if the gun was animated, it would have been really good. Like, if the gun had the same thing as the shirt, it would have been definitely S tier. So I'm going to put it in B tier. I mean, A tier. <laughs> it's better than the OG Lucio skin. I'll tell you that. Disco Lucio. At first, I thought this skin was really goofy because, bro, this is like the first Lucio skin where you don't really see much, like, he's bold, basically. Um, this skin is great. This skin is awesome looking. It looks so good. There is so much, like, it's shiny. Like, if you spin it around a bit, you can see, like, it glowing. C tier? Yeah, but he's bold. Guys, there's nothing wrong with being bold, okay? My dad's bold. But he chose to be bold. I think so. I'm gonna... I, I, <laughs> so here's what it is fellas it's s tier because here's the thing right i will say this now i think this is the, like if you're someone that wants to spend money on overwatch 2 but doesn't have a bunch of money this is the only lucio skin that's probably worth your money 
simply because I think it's in the shop right now for like for season two. So hopefully you don't find this video after season two because that's gonna really suck. Um, I think it's about seven AUD, so like five USD, and plus you get five five hundred Overwatch points. But like, like that's probably the cheapest like Lucio skin you'll be able to get in the entire Overwatch two like lifetime. And that's kind of why I say it's like a pretty ST skin because it's cheap. Like comparing it to other Epic skins, bro, they're also expensive, you know. <laughs> and now we go on to the legendaries. Starting with... Okay, well, this is going to be, like, divided into its own category, really. So, we, we have all the the frog skins. Uh, we have... Hippity Hop, Ribbit, and Poison Dart. They just... They look goofy, and that's why I love them. I love these so much, because they look so goofy. I call it... Okay, I call this one the Android Lucio, because it kind of just looks like an Android phone, or, like, an iPhone. Like, it just seems like a, a robot from the future. But I also think, as well, um... I think this was, like, this was one of the first legendary skins that Lucio had, right? This was the first ever, like, legendary Lucio skin. And, uh, I think this is reference to, like, probably Daft Punk and, um, like, Dead Mouse and Marshmallow? I don't know if Marshmallow was a thing in, like, 2015. Actually, no, I think, uh, I think he was, because, like, yeah, I think, I think he was. I, I swear he was. So I think it's a reference to all the, like, all those, like, artists and stuff, which is cool. It's a cool idea, because there's a DJ wearing a mask. Who, who is it? You know? Um, but it's sick. Like, this is one of the first ever legendary skins that Lucio got. And quite honestly, it's good. It looks really good. And I think it's S tier. Maybe it's because I've been mean, it's been the skin I've always used, like back in the earlier years of Overwatch. So I'm saying it's S tier. I think it's better than Gorgon Lucio. Alright, but Poison Dart and Hippity Hop though. Hippity Hop Gold. I mean, it's Daft Punk's brother, you know? He's Bud. <laughs> it's, it's Gold Helmet. The silver one is, is easily better by a long shot. But I think it's still up there. And now we have Poison Dart, okay? I'm putting that one in S tier as well, okay? Now we have Poison Dart, Lucio. Uh, this unit is just cursed as hell, man, because he, I'd only realized this, like, recently. His eyes don't light up on this skin, so it's just a void. And it's cursed, and it's kind of funny that it looks cursed. But also, uh, I think this is just because the Poison Dart Frog, uh, I mean, it's accurate. Like, you know, it's accurate. Like, that's how the Poison Dart Frogs look like. They just have full-on dark eyes. That's how they, that's how they exactly look. So it is very accurate. So it's, it's actually a pretty, uh, comic accurate skin. That's right. The Lucio Cinematic Universe is real. <laughs> uh, but I think it's better than Hippity Hop. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Well, I'll take it. Kiss me on my it's better. Mouth. Okay, so now that we have those skins out of the way, let's get to the other two legendaries that Lucio got on release. Now, this one's going to be my opinion, right? Breakaway and Slapshot. Lucio likes hockey. Um, <laughs> personally, I think they're right looking skins. Like, Lucio's got a blue gun. And on this one, it's like some team. I don't know what this team is. I don't know what it says on the side here. I can't read it at all. But it has a frog logo on it. Um, but there's actually a secret buff to these skins. Um, is that in this skin, uh, you have reduced headshot damage because you're wearing a helmet. Remember to stay safe out there when you're versing the Mercy, uh, one tricks and Soldier one tricks. It's secretly overpowered, so boom, S tier. No, but, um, okay. Yeah, I think, I think the gun looks good. I think the guns look good. I think mean, the whole skin looks good, but I don't think it's next level crazy. But I used to always use Slapshot back in the day because comparing it to, like, all of Lucio's other skins, for example, it feels like his head hitbox it feels smaller because he doesn't have that hair sticking out so i kind of felt like there was this was like a a secret pay to win skin even though like overwatch skins used to be free because his head hip like his head just looks smaller you know what i mean is it actually any small no of course not but i feel like he's like it's harder to spot his head you know <laughs> also he's got some really baggy pants on in these skins which i kind of like you know it's cool he's got these little baggy pants on okay i'm gonna say it's, both of these skins are b tier i mean they're good but, like I said, they're kind of out of date. They still look good, though. I think they still look good. They're not the worst skins. Remember, like, we're ranking from S, A, B, C. Like, no skin is actually terrible. Like, all the Lucio skins are good. Up to... Oh, man. I'm not going to say this because I'm going to get it wrong. Because the Brazilian viewers, they're going to be so upset at me. Or they're going to laugh at me. Celeso. Celeso? There's no way that's how you pronounce it. Is that how you pronounce it? Dude, this skin's good. 
Just, I think this was the first summer game skin they released because they released this one in Lucio Ball along with the the striker skin as well. And it's like sick. It's actual team like I think this is like the most Lucio's in his representation. You know, he's got the full on Brazilian flag going on. He's got it on the gun. Bro is in it, man. And this was uh, yeah, I think this is one of was this the first ever Lucio event skin? I think it was, right? Because it came out Summer Games 2016. Yeah, it was one of the first like legendary skins that came out. Uh, it's awesome. It looks good. The coloring looks sick. I love the yellow. So I'm gonna say it's A tier. It's better than the OG. Also, yeah, the gun looks cool. It's got a it's got a Lucio ball on it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say soccer or football because I don't want I don't want World War like four to break out in the comments over like what it is. <laughs> He's got the Lucio ball on the gun. This one's also good. I still think the other one is better, but the blue looks nice. This is more just Summer Games representation, but it doesn't have the Lucio ball on it. It kind of looks like a volleyball, eh? It looks like a volleyball now. B tier? No. I think this is a skin SK uses though. I think she uses this one the most. So I think that's how I know it. I think that this is her skin. I... <sighs> oh, I got jump scared. I'm sorry. This... <laughs> like, what do I say? You know what I mean? Like, how do I... How do I... So we're gonna be talking about Snow. <laughs> so we're gonna be talking about Samuel Nori. Um, yeah, you know what? This skin is great. I love this skin. This skin's so good. I like it because he has this little. I don't know what this is called, so I apologize. Uh, but there's this little thing on the back of his head that goes off his head, and it changes color when you change things. This is unique as hell, and the gun looks cool too. Like, look at this. A tassel. Finishing feature in fabric and clothing decoration. Oh, wow. You learn something new every single day. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> no, but it's actually good. For the Lunar New Year event, it actually looks really, really good. Comparing it to a lot of the other like skins that came out for Lunar New Year, I don't know when this one came out. This came out with CTF Blitz, so I think 2019 as well. 2019 kind of hit it out of the park for skins, actually. Kind of think of it. But I'm not, I'm not very educated on like half the stuff in this skin, but I, I think this skin looks absolutely awesome. This skin is beautifully done and it got a lot of hate when it first released like people said this was this was terrible i loved it simply because of just there's so much there's so much going on and it's great uh so i'm gonna say it's st it's st it's up there it's better than ribbit it's up there equalizer okay so this is good this skin is okay this is like okay so people that are new to overwatch and don't understand the whole story behind the equalizer skin uh, this was meant to be Lucio's original design, right? This is how Lucio was meant to look when he was, uh, going to come out. And he was gonna have, like, sound waves on his pan, DJ Kid. It's a super good-looking skin, and he looks really intimidating here. But he looks really cool. He does remind me of it. Like, he does look like a character out of Jet Set Radio Future. Like, honestly. But no, this is definitely one of the coolest, like... Because I don't think there's really any skins that are callbacks to, like, concept art. I don't think so. And the gun looks cool, too. So, if you're a billionaire... Buy this skin. <laughs> but yes, it's animated. It looks really good. But he's got the DJ sets on his thing. It's a it's a perfect callback to the original look to Lucio. And the hair looks super cool too. It's so good. Everything about this skin is absolutely amazing. It's one of the best skins in the game. It's one of the best skins in the game. It's one of the best. Because it has so much cool details in it. <sighs> Alright. The Jazzy skin. Now this skin is controversial. It's very controversial in the in the in the community. So, if you swap between songs, doesn't sound so bad, right? But if you're me, the thing that's really cool about it is that it does have custom music, and this is the only time they ever gave Lucio skins custom music, uh, and then they stopped after that. I don't know why they just gave up. <laughs> They said, yep, yeah, uh, we're doing this once. We're not doing it ever again. <laughs> and I've been begging for more, like, Lucio skins with custom music for ages. Like, we have missed out on so many golden opportunities. Bitrate could have had 8-bit music. You know, Equalizer could have had, like, a an older soundtrack of, like, Lucio's music. Like, an alpha soundtrack. So it's, like, similar to his actual music, but it's older. On the bright side... At least whenever a Lucio Mythic skin comes out, whenever that is, probably in Season 24, uh, we'll actually get custom music. I hope. I feel like I'm jinxing myself by saying that. Okay, the skin looks amazing. The skin looks good. Like, there is so much cool detail on here. 
that you're like, what is going on? What is happening? And it's a trumpet. I think so. Thank you. I was just permanently banned for asking for F33T picks. Wasn't aware this was against the rules. May I plaza have a second chance he'll behave? <laughs> Look, it's good looking. He's got a little fedora on. You know, he definitely is probably one of those only guys that can pull off a fedora. He's got the nice glasses. And I don't know what this is like a full on reference to, but it does seem like something that's like out of those like really old movies and like that's the kind of outfit they'd wear. It's like, it, reminds, it gives me like the steampunk look, you know? It's great. But the thing is, the problem with it and something I've been asking for for ages is a way to turn off the jazz music because it's incredibly annoying. <laughs> so this is inches away from being S tier. If they only made a way to get rid of the jazz music. I'm kidding. It's S tier, but it's kind of down there. If they if they found a way to actually get rid of the, the jazz music, which I've been asking for for years, by the way. So if an Overwatch dev is watching this video, please give us more custom music. Come on. <laughs> okay, I remember doing a stream back in the day, way years ago. I did a stream where I did the jazz skin for the entire stream. They're like, hey, Frogger, love your content, man. But unfortunately, this skin is annoying me too much, so I have to leave. Uh, never saw that guy ever again. Uh, the jazzy skin would cost me my job. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. There's more names that I'm going to struggle to pronounce, man. Cap... Capoeira. Capoeira. Cap... Capo... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This skin's good. This skin was out of nowhere. This wasn't for an event or anything. This, um... They just released it. It's good! I'm not, I'm not all into, um, all this sort of stuff. Like, I don't know the whole, if it's actually accurate to like the correct outfit and look, but it looks good. Everything about it is really nice. It's S tier. I remember one time back in high school, we had a thing like where Cap, Capoeira, Capoeira, Capoeira performed in my school and it was the coolest stuff ever. It was so cool. I was like, dude, that's cool. I want to try that out, and then I never did, uh, and then I failed my classes. So, so I'm gonna say it's S tier. Hmm. Here, is it martial art? Huh? I thought it was. Uh, I didn't. I, like I remember they performed at my school. I thought it was a dance. I don't really know much about it. Hold on, I'm gonna have to look it up so I don't get in trouble. Look, I'm not educational. Please be. I'm not educated. Please be nice to me. Martial art that combines elements of dance, acrobatics, music, and spirituality. Oh. It's illegal? It was? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we have to go back to it, fellas. We have to go back to it. We have to talk about it. Represented as part man and part goat. Characterized by righteous merriment and last What is he known for? Lovers of wine, music, dancing, and women? Look, no, guys. This isn't an FT skin. And I'm going to tell you, this, one thing that carries this skin is the gun. The gun is so good. The skin makes him look like he's evil with like the red eyes and all that sort of stuff. But he's like, hey guys, what's going on? My name's Lucy. I'm going to play some music for you guys today. Hope you guys are excited. All that sort of stuff. You know, it's just one of the skins. You know, it's just... It's kind of just like... There. It's not an FT skin, guys. Don't be mean. Alright? Alright, now we have Snow Fox Lucio, which... is actually not much of a bad skin. There's... He's a fox. I mean, the cool thing about this skin is that it's got some snow coming out of it. You guys might not be able to see it because stream quality, but there's little there's little snow coming out of it. And it's got icicles on the bottom. Like, when people ask me why I don't use Golden Guns on, like, Lucio, it's just, it ruins how good the skin looks. Uh, people call this the Furry Lucio skin. Uh, guys, look, you guys go crazy over Kiriko because she has fox ears. But, you know, when Lucio does it, apparently it's gross and disgusting. Yeah, you guys are haters, man. You guys are haters. But now, you know, Lucio Kiriko backline, the, the Fox backline. They prepared for this, fellas. So I'm gonna say it's C tier. It's kind of down there, but it's still a good skin. I think the gun looks good. I don't think it's terrible. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not this, you know? <laughs> 2019 Pacific All-Stars Lucio. Look, this is unironically one of the best Lucio skins in the entire game. It looks absolutely amazing. It's super well done. It's super good. This came out in 2019. Like, dude, 2019 was the year, man. What? What motivation did they have in 2019 to just release some of the greatest skins of all time? I, I think the gun kind of reminds me of a clam. Um, but he just looks like a sun god. He looks like a god, bro. I mean, the gun is still a little bit, little bit goofy. 
A little bit goofy, a little bit silly, a little bit goofy. I don't know why I'm thinking of a clam. It looks like something you'd find on the on the on the beach. And uh, you know, this skin came out with like Mercy's Atlantic skin. So it is canon that Lucio Mercy is meta. So if anyone starts running Lucio Mercy in your games, boom. Shut up. A conch? Conch shell. Yes, that's what I'm thinking of. Kind of looks like you could scoop up popcorn with the side, eh? You see that? You could scoop up some popcorn in there. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. See, now the hair color is like yellow when he's on heels. So that's cool. So when he's on, you know, speed, it's green. When he's on heels, it's yellows. I don't know why I said that. Like, you guys know that. <laughs> uh, I think this one's, in, this one's in the shop right now, right? For 300 Overwatch League coins. If you've watched the Overwatch League and grinded up some coins, I think it's worth it. But for me, it cost me like <laughs> 30 bucks. <laughs> So if you want to justify a $30 purchase for this, and look, this skin's going to go away at some point soon. So it's up to you if you want it. However, I will say this entire bundle of skins is really good. They're unrelated, but this Diva skin is absolutely awesome as well. Anyways, um, it's S tier. Like, do we even need to talk about this? It's S tier. It's, it's one of the top skins. It's one of the top skins. I think Equalizer is still better though because it has... Because I feel like it, you know? Uh... Now onto the final skin, Hermes, the newest skin. I will say, uh, look, I'm saying Equalizer is the best because of the whole lore behind it, you know? This is cool. I think it's a little bit creepy with the whole mask and the, like, eyes just kind of, like, watching you out of it. Like, uh, he has his dogs out, which is great. Wait, is he? I don't think he's... Has he got armor plate on? Yeah, he's got an armor plate on or something like that. I mean, the coloring on the gun kind of sucks. Like, I don't like it that much. It's a good-looking skin. Uh, it should be the statue on Ilios, you know, get on it, fellas. Done, done. I think the only thing that, like, it, dude, it would have been so cool if you could take off the mask on this skin. Because I think someone managed to do it, and I don't know how they did it. Um, there's a couple of stuff. There's a bunch of custom new voice lines for this skin. I haven't really talked that much about voice lines, but I think this one has the most interactions with it. And as well, uh, when you get nanoed, he says no breaks on the H train, which is, it's a, it's a boy's reference. It's a reference to A train. That's sick. There's heaps of... Heaps of really cool interactions with this skin. For its value, it cost, uh, I think, 20 bucks, 25 bucks in the store. It's pretty expensive. <laughs> it's not really worth your money, but, uh, like, there's a lot of really cool stuff about this skin. You know, you're better off waiting for skins to go on sale, because that'll happen. <laughs> we lost, man. This, this would have been great if, uh, we got this. He is gorgeous. Bro looks gorgeous. <laughs> I will say this skin is definitely up there in the S tier, though. There's a lot of obvious really great work that was put into it. And I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I think it's up there. I think it's I think it's third. Unfortunately, if there was uh, if it wasn't so expensive, it definitely would be up there as like one of the top skins of all time. But I mean, it's third place. All right. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? Good tier list or bad tier list? It's decent. There are some things that might be incorrect to you guys, all this sort of stuff. But most of this was my opinion at the end of the day. So please remember, guys, be nice. Don't come for my throat for this one. All this sort of stuff. I hope you guys didn't. Why is it so top heavy? Because Lucio skins are god tier, buddy. How about that? Huh?